Hey game design, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's the first time you guys are here. So it's Wednesday for me and I am recording my reaction to the video games that you guys made that I've gotten so far. If you haven't turned yours in, it's a zero, so do it. Okay, yeah. All right. So I'm going to do the four games that I have currently. Um, they look cool. I haven't really looked at any of them. I've seen some of one of them because I had to help one student debug. Um, granted, these are the final versions you guys sent to me. I hope you debug them. Hope they work. We'll see. This is my live reaction to all your games. I'm not going to be saying any people's names um, except my own. Be to protect you guys. Uh, so your prompt was to make a really short mini game of on Twine, responding to the prompt, you walk into Miss B's classroom for English, but when you open the door, the classroom's not there. What is? This could have been as long as you wanted it to be. Um, the basic conditions were that you needed to have one variable, at least, running your whole game, and uh, long enough for the variable to actually build to have a win or lose condition. So, without further ado, actually, pause that. I apologize for any light changes. I'm still figuring out the whole lighting situation in my new setup. Yes, I'm sitting on the floor, don't judge me. Also, does this make me a gaming YouTuber now? I think it does. I'm cool, guys. All right. So, I'm just going in the order that we're in the files. <coughs> Excuse me. So, the first one is called Get Rich or Get Gone. You can uh, pull these up too, but I'm going to read it all aloud. This is going to be a full out let's play. It's probably going to be like 30 minutes long, but it's fine. So, Get Rich or Get Gone. You go up to the door to Miss B's classroom for English. When you open it up, something extraordinary happens. You step into a dark, empty, black room and start falling. You end up in a, you end up in a bright, white, blank room. It must have been a portal. You search the place and find two doors. Which door will you go through? I don't know. Well, like, door one's obvious, but did the maker want me to think that? Then go through door two? I don't know. We'll go through door one. Hopefully it works. Again, these aren't deep. I don't know how much you guys debug this, so. Good choice. Okay. You have chosen the door to potential greatness. Yay. Just don't mess it up. Oh, I will. Okay. So you open the door and walk out to a busy city. You walk down the sidewalk a little bit and see something happening to the left in the distance. What is it? What will you do? Well... Based on all my knowledge of horror games and all that, it's not great to uh, split off. That's a great way to die in games. So I'm going to keep walking straight. I run into an old friend, and we instantly recognize each other. What do I ask her? What do you do for work, or do you want to catch up over dinner? I like food. Let's go over dinner. Oh, I died. Okay, start over. <laughs> Let's go through, I did door one, and then I kept walking straight. What do I do for, I'll ask her what she does for work. Okay, she's an owner of a multi-billion dollar company and she's looking for someone to hire as the corporate manager. What will you tell her? Well, I'm in need of a job as I just got fired. Or, I know a lot about managing big businesses. If you're looking for someone knowledgeable, I'm the one you want to hire. Well, this is a really random situation to talk about with an old friend. So, uh, I'm going to show off. Oh, she doesn't like that. She declined. Okay, she left. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh, now I'm homeless. Okay. Okay, go back. Okay, I'm in need of a job. She feels bad for me and tells me that it will take a bit of training, but I'll soon have the skills she needs. Will I accept or decline offering knowing that training will last a long time? Well, how do I get paid differently for training? 
I need this information. This isn't an informed choice. Okay, well, it kind of is. It's slightly an informed choice, but it's not as informed as I want it to be. Okay, I'll accept. Why not? Okay, I have the job. Continue. Two years later, I'm wealthy and happy. Still making millions a year, working for my old friend. Congrats, I did it! Yay! Okay, I'm gonna click through and see what happens if I go through door two. If that's like an automatic death or not. Um, so I think I won the game. Let me know if I'm wrong. Alright, so door two. Okay. It's clearly not the right choice, but this one's higher risk and higher reward, so interesting. Um, I come to a cul-de-sac in the dead of night, and there's a road that goes two ways, left or right. Um, was the left. <coughs> um, there's a house with a door open, no cars, no lights, what will I do? Oh, this sounds like a great idea to go inside, let's go. I'm inside. So I go up, down, or down the hallway. Uh, let's 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 go down the hallway. I go to the hallway, and there's two doors. Right one, a left one. Well, I chose a left path earlier, so let's go right. Hopefully, there's not like a dinosaur in there trying to eat me. Oh no! Yeah, there was. Who? Oh, there's someone, and he says, "Don't touch my Rolex." <laughs> Don't copy strike me for brands. Um. Yeah, okay. All right, so I've lost multiple ways. That's pretty fun. This, so that was a good game. I liked it. Uh, I really liked how there are lots of different routes. You kind of expanded this way more than I thought you would, but go big or go home, right? Um, yeah, it was cool. I like the endings. They could have been a bit more school appropriate, but anyway, let's go on to the next game that is named COVID-19 right now because this student didn't know what else to name it. Okay, so we're at the start. It says, you open the door to Miss B's classroom, but the room isn't there. When you open the door, you see a dark hallway leading to a doorway and you are forced to walk through, forced choice. <clears throat> you walk through the doorway and it takes you to the military base in Hong Kong. Oh, great. The general walks up to you frustrated and says, You there, I need your help. COVID-19 is setting the world into anarchy. Yeah. I'm putting together a team and I need your help. I need you to break into a medical lab in Wuhan and steal the vaccine. This is so great. Um, very, you know, current. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't think... <laughs> what? We want to heal. This is kind of one of those, it's a weighted choice a little bit. I don't have information though. Well, let's let's see what happens if I don't help him. Okay, he kicks me out. There's a guy, saves Mateo, and we're trying to destroy the vaccine, and I'm forced to pick in. Oh, this this is one of those games where there's no good choices. Okay. He introduces me to the team and gets ready for the raid. You're given a bulletproof vest and a helmet and told to wait in a truck. This this is going to end terribly. I'm going to wait in the truck. That sounds like a good idea. Oh, we're infiltrating the building. Okay, nothing's gone wrong yet. Uh, Well, you, when you infiltrate... Well, are we stealthing or not? Oh, man. Okay. Uh... Oh, let's run. It'll be fun. Okay, now break the glass. Oh no, everyone's on alert. <laughs> That's great. Take it and go. Climb through the air duct. Okay, uh, I got the vaccine. I go back to the military base. And I go home. Yay! You have returned home um i can't tell if that's a win or lose i'm guessing if i had like died at all or failed i would have not been sent home um so that was interesting uh definitely uh related to what we're living through right now although i don't think that's how it would really go down um i liked it it was funny 
but I can't quite tell if this is a win condition or not, so I definitely, um, for the future, if you're going back, make sure that the win condition is clear or not. I might download your file later, and well, actually, I'm going to download everybody's files and go through them and see what you wrote um, and give you feedback. So it was fun. All right, Run from Hugo <laughs> is the next game. Okay. If I have any idea what this is going to be about, should be interesting. <laughs> so you open up the door to Miss B's class and you see your boss there with your assignment. You have a boss? Okay. What do I choose to do? Um, walk in and see what's up or try and walk away without them seeing. You know what? Let's just, let's just try and go away. Okay. No, they saw me. Okay, forced choice. They call me back. Sorry, my nose is itchy. Your boss says that Tortuga is alive and you have to find him and you have to get to Mexico. And Mr. Hugo's chasing you. Okay. They said you better accept unless you want to start. Okay. Okay, we go, we go. Let's go, let's go. They tell you you have to leave in a hurry and not be suspicious. Give you a location. Uh, do, where do we go? Um, Lil Ronnie's or Tortuga? You know, I'm going to say Tortuga because it means turtle and I like turtles. Okay. You almost get there, but Mr. Hugo's waiting on the steps. Oh no. Uh, let's go sneaking inside. We make it past Mr. Hugo. Um, well, this isn't school appropriate. So I'm picking the... PG options. Uh, what was that? <laughs> I didn't even read it. Call the boss. That's what I'm doing. Calling the boss. Uh, he says, get out of there. Um, find some clues or find something else. Uh, let's just escape. Oh, we lost. We went to jail. Oh, wait, there's still a choice. The game's not over. We got to jail. Oh, yeah. No, I lost. Not a surprise. <laughs> Does this game have a win condition, knowing who made the... Uh, let me... Here, I'll try and win this time. Alright, walk in and see what's up. Let's stay for more info. Okay. And... Oh, that's informational for the next, for the thing. So let's go to Tortuga safe house. Uh, sneak inside again and go back and tell the boss the information. He says okay. Oh, yeah, okay. I don't know if there's a win condition. I'm not going to go through all the routes until I download your code. Um, interesting. I can say please check spelling next time. That was bigger. It was fun though. Uh, a little crazy. <laughs> you can do a lot of stuff with this. Um, Again, not a clear win condition. I only lost, but there may only be one way to win, and I haven't found it yet. But keeping this video as short as possible, I'll I'll do it on my own time. <laughs> okay, next one is Reberu or Reberu. I don't know how to say it. I'm sorry, Reberu. It definitely looks like a Reberu, and I think that's what you told me. All right, so. It's another day of English. You open the door, forced choice, to enter Miss B's classroom. When you open the door, the room isn't there. You turn around and the door is gone. You feel a fresh breeze on your face and smell salt. A roar of wave fills your ears. You're on an island. Okay. Your eyes adjust to the light. There are big rocks and blue iguanas. Cool. And sun and crabs. Ooh, I like it. Okay. First thing I do, should I walk into the water or to the island? Um, I like the ocean, so let's, let's look at the water for a little bit. We walk into the water. It's probably the most clear water you've ever seen. You can see bright coral and anemones in the water. And pretty little fish. Ooh, yay. We wonder where we are. You're not used to this, so it's time to decide what to do. Do we just give up my old life and survive on the island, or do we try and find a way home? Um, you know what? We're gonna live on the island. Goodbye, old life. It wasn't that great anyway. 
Oh, no, I like my life. Um, okay, first thing you need to do is build a house and find a food supply. What do you want to do first? Uh, let's stock up on food. Finding food shouldn't be too hard. It looks like this island is full of life. So where should you start looking for food? Let's go to the beach because jungle sounds scary. You don't let, have any fishing rods or nets, but you have hands, so that should be good enough. The rocks are where all the crabs live, but the water has fish. Uh, I like shellfish. Let's go for crabs. And carefully walk across the beach and onto the rocks. A uh, fall on one of these could really hurt you. You look around your feet and see a couple of crabs, but over on the rocks, closer to the water, you see a lot. Is it worth risking slipping and falling on the rocks to get more crabs? Let's try and get the ones where we are. Let's be safe. So we played it safe. Um, we get some crabs, get pinched a little bit, uh, and go back to the sand. Uh, we should definitely cook them. That's not a great idea. It's raw. Okay. <laughs> you decide to cook your food instead of being gross at eating it raw. Yeah. You gather some wood and leaves for a fire, and you're not sure if it'll work, but you found two flat rocks and try to create a spark. You do create a spark and gently blow on the leaves, and you start a small fire. You hold your food over the fire by a stick and eat your food. Not as good without all the seasoning and stuff they do at restaurants, but it's not the worst thing. Yeah. I mean, crab is pretty tasty itself. The sun is starting to set, so you decide to add some more fuel to your fire and lay down in the sand. You doze off. <clears throat> and it's now morning. Okay. You wake up to the sun in your eyes. You have a bit of sunburn already. It's time to build a house, blah, blah, blah. Sorry, there's a lot of reading. Um, sitting under the tent with some other food, you decide living here won't be too bad. Nice. I think I won. Yeah, this is play again. Yay, I won. Let's see. Let's do my same route, but um, let's, let's go try and um, go on the wet rocks with the crabs and see if we fail. Go on the wet rocks. Okay. Oh man. Oh man. We uh, are in rough shape. We are struggling. We have our, uh, our cuts all in our arms and legs and twisted an ankle. We're bleeding. This is great. <laughs> okay, let's cook them over the fire and see if we still win. Okay. Um, we're not as happy. Ooh, I see what you did here. You had do so you have multiple win endings because it says you have a bit of a sunburn and everything. Okay, so it seems this will be an interesting file to go through. Because there might be more than one variable controlling how you win. This will be cool. Um, yeah, so again, this seems like a game that you did more than I asked for, which is great. Uh, so overall, I really like these games. I can't wait to see the other ones that get turned in. <laughs> um, so you, yeah, you guys figured this out really well. Um, I'm currently working on trying to figure out how we can collaborate and make a game together. Um, I'm also working on my extra game for you. Yeah, so you can play more. Um, unfortunately, you won't be able to play 80 days anymore until we get back to school, but whatever. Um, yeah, so this was just to give you guys my opinion instead of you just reading it. This seemed a bit more fun. Uh, your assignment for this week is in your Google Docs, so make sure you get that done as well, all right? Bye! I don't have an uh, outro because I'm not actually a YouTuber, but subscribe! Yay! <laughs> all right, bye!